here, you may as well have these. There would be a car. Becky, please. I'm so sorry. Dress like that. Why? This is my best T-shirt. You're going to see a solicitor. So? So you can wear your school uniform. It's an inset day. No one's wearing uniform. Mum, he's winding you up. Don't give him the satisfaction. Oh, hang on a minute, Sarah. What's it got to do with you? He knows you won't like it. That's why he does it. But we're not going to court. And even if we were, I'm not the accused. I can wear what I like. You can wear your school uniform. It's pressed and it's on the chair by your bed. There's no point having a day off school if I've got to wear that. Oh, and that reminds me. Have you spoke to Griffy yet? Told him that we're going to go see the solicitor? Yes. Well, have you told him why? Yes. Right, cool. All right, so you haven't already told everyone that you're up as star witness for a murder trial? But do you think I'm getting some sort of kick out of this? Is that it, Sarah? Oh, look at him lapping it up every minute. Hey, I'm just a regular kid who's been propelled into the spotlight by circumstances out of my control. Hello. You are not wearing sunglasses. Why? Well, am I the only one round here with a sense of humour? Hey, hey, what's going on here? Why is he shot? Been a fire, haven't there? No. Wait. A couple of days ago. How awful. You know, we could use this as an opportunity to rig some changes. Become more of a salon de thé. Smell of warm croissant, Edith Piaf wafting through. Yes, no, I know, we, we, we're a greasy spoon. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't stop thinking about what's happened. How could we get it so wrong? Hayley, a week ago, Becky and her cohort were joyriding in our car. Anyone would come to the same conclusion as we did. Anyone would jump to the same conclusion, you mean, instead of keeping our mouth shut until we knew the facts. Yes, well, everyone knows the truth now, so no harm done. Except to Becky's reputation. But does she have one? Right, she was trying to be a better person. You know that. This could really set her back. Once word gets round, everything will be fine. I'm sorry we're closed. No, no, I know. Um, I just came round to offer me commiserations. The lads just told me what's happened. Oh, well, that, that's very nice, very neighbourly, especially from a future competitor. So, how long do you reckon you're going to have to shut for? Oh, well, we don't know yet. Uh, we, ten days, might, might, might be less. Hey, and he heard you got the swine that did it, that lassie that used to work here. It was not, Becky. That was a complete misunderstanding. Do you see what I mean, Roy? Mud sticks. Excuse me. So, what do we owe this on there? Forgot my tie. Oh, and I thought you were just desperate to see us. Well, I'm not. Well, you'll have to find it, because I'm late for work. No, it's on top of the bread bin. Who's put it there? Me, when I found it behind the sofa. Sorry. Right, yeah. Hold still. You're not angry with me, still going home, are you? No! We'd never be angry with you in a Willian, yes. Yeah, apart from when you use my tights to make a tie for Schmeichel. Oh, mm. yeah. I'm going to buy some more, though. <laughs> right, listen, you have got to promise me that whenever it gets a bit mental over there, you always come here and be mental with us. I promise. Look at that now. Just look at you. Right, Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Oh, I forgot my bag. You walk on, I'll catch you up. David. Oh, you look nice. I love a man in uniform. Yeah, well, my mum made me wear this. Oh, still. You look like a nice, honest, trustworthy young man. Look, it's not the trial, you know. I'm only going to see you solicitor. Yeah, all right, but you still need to make a good impression. Look, don't worry. You can count on me. Are you nervous? Should I be? No, because Jane is really nice, and you'll be fine as long as you stick to the facts. You mean tell her what you told me to? 
I only filled you in with a few minor details. Was it just like Johnny and the Dots, then? Exactly. And, um, by the way, I know you won't, but don't mention to her anything about us meeting up like this, will you? What about all the bribes? I mean, do you think she should mention those? Gifts. Just my way of saying thank you for what you're doing. Look, don't treat me like a kid, OK? Because I know exactly what I'm doing. Get me head if it was loose. Hello, Tracy. Hiya. Uh, I just popped over to say sorry to David, because I'd hate to think of him losing a whole day's school because of me. Well, it's an inset day, so he won't be going in anyway. Oh, good. Bye, then. Bye. Hiya. You look a bit smart for mucking out kennels. I sent you a text and you get it. Never heard it bleep. Well, here we go. Feeling lousy. Can you manage on your own? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just on my way to see the doctor. I always like to look smart for a doctor, me. <laughs> well, I hope it's nothing serious. Oh, no, I'm sure it won't be. I'll be back bright eyed and bushy tail tomorrow. OK. See ya. Bye. I don't know why you don't just tell him the truth. I'm edging my bets, aren't I? You're going to wish me luck then? Good luck. At the doctor's. Sorry, I, I was just going to ask you if you give that video in Ridge Bucket's diarrhea medicine. Um, excuse me, everyone. Uh, I've got a bit of an announcement. It won't take a second. Oh, you're not preggers, are you? <laughs> There'll be wise men and shepherds outside if you are. Oh, very, very funny, yeah. You know what it's about, Becky. Oh, I'm not interested, Ayla. Oh, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. She didn't start that fire. Yeah, yeah, whatever. No, no, Sally, I'm serious. It was an electrical fault. Becky had nothing to do with it. Yeah, maybe not this time. Yeah, I'm right glad to see you back where I am. Here are good riddance to bad rubbish. Please, you're not listening to me. She was wrongly accused. David Platt. Um, you must be Mrs. Platt. I'm Jane. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, my PA is ill. W would you like to come through? Actually, Mrs. Platt, is it all right if I talk to David on his own? Oh, um, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, it's cool with me. Come on. Hiya. Hiya. Hello there, Chief Uh, wrong baby, that was <laughs> It's easy to wind him up, isn't it? Oh, the same, don't they? They're not. They're totally different. Anyway. Holly's got a lot more about her. She's more stubborn. So it's funny, they seem to change every hour. Oh, and talking of changes, she's done two poos since I give her that medicine, so panic over. Yeah, listen, man, best crack on, eh? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Talk about a doting grandmother, eh? Yeah, tell me about it. Change plan, lads. I want this job finished by the end of the week. You're joking. Sorry, love, it can't be done. Uh, we've got a one while he's still shut, grabbing all his customers. Well, it still can't be done. Um, I could always find somebody else, you know. And they'll tell you the same as we are. We're working 12-hour days as it is. Uh, can I offer you all refreshments? I've, I've just got the machine working. Oh, cheers, Roy. Oh, sweet, Roy, yeah. Yeah, nice one, Roy. Yes, well, it's not every day that a rival comes in to offer sympathies. I was most gratified. Yeah, well, I'm like that, mate. How old are you, David? 16. And how do you feel about all this? Oh, I what? Giving evidence, having to take the stand. I don't mind. You don't find it at all daunting? Not really. Courts are pretty daunting places. A lot of boys your age would find the idea of giving evidence, possibly being cross-examined, well, quite scary. Well, I guess I don't scare that easily. No, you're obviously a very confident young man. I can see that. Well, no, not especially. You do look rather pleased with yourself. Do I? What is it that you're pleased about? No, this is just my normal expression. It's just that I don't sense that you're at all troubled by what happened. Are you? Well, I, I don't know. You mm. witnessed a horrible attack. Does the memory stay with you? Do you have nightmares about what you saw? Do you want me to pretend? Is that it? I, I can do upset, if you like. So you enjoy play-acting, do you? I didn't say that. Are you play-acting now? No. 
I've read your statement, David, and I'm not sure I believe a word of it. <laughs>